Ouch. It's okay. It's okay. Leg is just in a lot of pain. Well, yes. I reset and splinted it. But it's still badly injured. Hurts a lot to put pressure on. I need to meet my friends. No, 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 I mean my hunting party! I'm, yes, I'm sorry! They can't be my friends if they would dare to subject me to danger and pain. Nothing, fucking hypocrite. Nothing! I said nothing! Okay. Of course I'm much safer with you. Of course I'm much safer with a crazy leg snapping werewolf. I said, I, I said I'm much safer with you in your warm embrace. Yes, yes, I completely understand why they are bad for my health. They will only subject me to danger. And you will... <sighs> keep me safe. But if I don't meet them and tell them that I'm okay, then they will find you and... You may be a nightmare level OP werewolf, but I still don't think you'd like an entire empire hunting you. Yes, of course you'd say that. Yes, kill them all for me. <laughs> Can you possibly keep them alive for me instead? No, of course not. Only kill them for me. This is like one of those graphic novel games where it's multiple choice, but they're all the same. Each choice screws you over. Each bloody choice I have needs to appease old psycho McMunchy face or everything gets munched. What? I, I, I said I, I said I have considered my choice and my answer is not to appease those psychos. Yes, happy now. Oh, God. You're so much prettier when you're smiling. I will be okay. No, it's fine. You don't need to carry me. I, I know you could easily carry me. Break me, wreck me, shred me. Love me? I don't know which one's more bloody horrifying. Nothing! I didn't say anything! I said the thought of breaking my leg further is horrifying. You'd never let that happen. That's very kind of you. But can I please maintain some pride and walk on my own two very shaky, terrified feet? Please? Please? No room for pride in love. I mean, it is rather prideful to insist on being there when I see them. Whoa! No, 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 no! I, I'm not trying to convince you to stay so I can run away with them. I promise. I know you would kill them all, and that's why I'm going to meet them to get them to leave so you don't get hunted and they don't get eated. Okay? Hmm. Why are you giggling like a crazy person? I, I asked why. I, I, I asked why you are giggling so cutely. Yes, I said you're cute. Because I love you so much. More like because I don't want to be hunted and murdered. No, no, no! I said of course I... Of course I care! Love? Say it. Say that I love you. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Calm down! No, I never said... I never said I didn't love you. I just don't want to say it willy-nilly. It's a very powerful word to me. And I don't want to weaken its meaning by using it all the time. Okay? So when I say it, it has to be really special. Okay? Okay. Phew. Mutilation averted. Huh? What was that? What was that? Your little what? Your little what? That's my nickname. Well, I'd rather not. Okay, 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 I'm sorry. I shall graciously accept that nickname that you've given to me out of love and devotion. Now I need to give you a nickname. I need to give you a nickname. To show what? To show my desire to not get munched. I said to show my desire for us to be as one. What should it be? Um, hmm. Growler! Okay, 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 I won't use Growler! It's obviously offensive to werewolves. Hmm. Hey, if someone dresses as a werewolf, a Salwan, does that make it cultural appropriation for werewolves? I'm not trying to divert attention. It was a genuine question. I'm trying to take interest in you. So I can stay alive a bit longer. No, because I... Because I'm interested, okay? Okay? C can I think about a nickname for you? It's not due to a lack of caring. Please, put the teeth away. It's because I care a lot. I don't want to rush such a special thing. So, 
Give me some time, okay? Okay? Oh, thank the gods. Huh? Ow! No, I can walk alone, thank you. Huh? Hear what? Oh, of course I do. That's them. I suppose you heard them a long time ago, hey? Super wolf hearing and all that. Hey, thanks for not, you know, tearing forward and butchering them all. No, 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 do not want you to do that. Thank you. That was me being happy. Thank you for not being a butchering, murderous monstrosity. Thank you, it's very appreciated. I have a nasty reaction to blood and too much of it. Makes me go a little bit, you know, bloody terrified. So, here's the deal. I send them away. You take a lovely, relaxing day off from mutilating in the name of love. Good? Oh, good. Glad we have an understanding. So, um, are you going to, you know, fuck off out of the way? Hide! Well, yes. If they see you, they will be suspicious. And it'll increase the risk of mutilation, which will be very anti-productive. I will have an allergic reaction to gore, okay? You see me watching horror plays, the little bit of berry juice that they use to, like, act out blood and I get very squeamish. So, please, in the bush, please, maybe hide in the bush over there. If you don't transform into a giant werewolf, you can fit just fine. I'm not saying you're fat when you're a werewolf! Please! Oh my god, how do I make this person not hungry all the time? How do I make you not want to kill me every time I say something? You have a lovely, elegant, masculine yet feminine, sturdy yet soft, gracious yet mighty form in your human state. And it just fits a bit better in the bush. Whilst your werewolf is scratchy, monstrous, raw, killing, horrifying, but also beautiful. But to them, it won't be. It'll be just outright horrendous. So please. Just for me. Stay in human form. Hide behind the bush. Please. Cross my heart and hope to die, but preferably not die. Thank you. <sighs> well, that bush or that bush, it's up to you. You can hear everything that is said within this distance, right? So if I betray you, you'll know. Plus, I can't exactly run away with being a one-legged wonder, right? So, let's just get this over with, okay? I will be back, I promise. Preferably alive, okay? Right, good. Bye. Oh, here we go. Oh, boy. A joyous reunion on the way with the added spice of potential horrific death from a psychotic... <laughs> I can hear you growling from over there! Less stalkery, please! Thank you. <sighs> Thing is, they're absolutely beautiful and they do care. But, but uh, my life's constantly in danger. There we go. Ah, oh, bloody leg. <sighs> Maybe they've got some medication I can use. I hope so. Just, I'm, I know I can handle pain, but this is getting a bit stupid now. Who goes there? Show yourself. Wait a minute. Is that... Guys, I think that's him. We found him. Hi, everyone. James! You're actually here. We've been looking for you for what feels like forever. We thought it could never find you. You only started looking for me since this morning, though. Well, it felt like forever. Wait, what happened to you? Oh my god. Your leg. What on earth happened? It's okay. I slipped and caught it on the rock on the way down. You in that crutch, limping on that stick? You look hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> what, what the hell happened to you? You look pathetic. Did you make that crutch yourself or uh, did a dyslexic troll help you? Well... This is James. There's really little difference between the two. Would have been better off leaving it broken. You remember how much he sucked during medical training. <gasps> hey, do you remember when he tried to make that anti-venom potion? Ugh, don't remind me. I nearly threw up for weeks. 
felt stick to my stomach. Hey, that potion works. Shut up, James. We've come all the way out here to save you. You do well to remember your manners. So sit there like a good little cripple while we mock you. <sighs> like the good old training days. Except he's probably less of a risk now that he can't run and get away. If something bad happens now, we can just leave him behind as bait. Oh yeah. Didn't you have to pull him out from that swamp beast trap during the trials? Do not remind me. Even that swamp didn't stink as badly as James' navigational skills. You guys are still charmers, I see. James, James, genuine question. How is it that your brother is the best of us? Well, you are the absolute worst. It's a joke in itself how bad you are. Seriously. Your first mission alone after somehow graduating, and you not only go missing, but you show up like... this? Hey, maybe he slipped and broke it after falling in love with someone for being nice to him. Ugh, don't remind me. Oh yeah, he had a crush on you before. <laughs> All because you shared that water ration. Ugh, the moron wouldn't stop complaining about being thirsty. They didn't realize his flask was damaged. I honestly thought his head was damaged most of the time. Little Egypt couldn't do anything right. Should've let the moron dehydrate. Would've learned the hard way. Well, I thought it would get me into his brother's good books, but even he doesn't have time for this waste of space. I... I brought you flowers to say thank you. You brought her... roses? Which means you had romantic interest in her. But... no! No, you told me that those roses were a sign of gratitude. You did? Maybe I did. <laughs> but you fell for it. Wait. Oh, so you're the reason I thought this loser liked me. Yep. And we all laughed our asses off at your expense. <laughs> you evil genius. To be fair, you're not my type. I, I'm a bit of a sucker for personality, you see. Uh, excuse me? <laughs> Little shit got you there. So, thank you for coming out to save me, guys. But there really is no need. Tough shit. Your brother ordered us. So unlike you. We've got to put our best foot forward. Yeah, he told us to break a leg. But, uh, you beat us to it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, good one. You guys fought as well as you joked. Maybe I wouldn't have shamed you all at the last dueling competition. What the fuck did you just say? You heard. You can mock me all you like, but you know my swordsman skills even made my brother proud. You beating me that day was a fluke. To be honest, you look like a kid waving a stick around. Still swept you on your arse, didn't I, princess? You cheeky little shit. But, no, but, no, I'm sorry, okay? I don't want to be rude, but no shouties or you might get num nummied. Perhaps we should have a rematch now, James. Oh, what a shame. You don't have your sword? Maybe he can use that stick of his instead. Double points if you sweep his last semi-functioning leg. Guys, this really isn't the time. Talk a big game and then pussy out, huh? No, 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 seriously. You shouldn't threaten me. This is a really, really bad time. Oh, little James is getting scared. <sighs> What's new? I'm surprised he hasn't pissed his pants like he used to. The big furry paw of Wolfiecles is literally above us! What did your girlfriend ever see in you? Well, no wonder she left you. Haven't seen her in time. Guess she was so embarrassed to have been with the reject sibling. No, she was eaten and you bloody will be too if you keep this up! Who do you think you're threatening, kid? It's not a threat! I'm serious, guys. We need to calm down! I think you need to remember your place. You didn't duel with me back then. Oh, yeah. You were in the league above us in the competition. So perhaps we should see how cocky you are after dueling me. Guys, I am literally on one leg at the moment. You're having a laugh. A handicap. Hey, I tell you what. Take my sword. I'll use my fists. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, place your bets now. Oh, please let him try and get a few shots in. It'll look like watching a toddler trying to fight a bear. You can't be serious! <laughs> I wouldn't lower myself. You're not in my league. But I will be expecting compensation from your brother for wasting my time on this petty task. Speak for yourself. I'm not letting this little shit go for what he said. Come on, man. He can't possibly get more pathetic right now. I don't know. 
Think at least one black guy would do it? Guys, seriously, you need to stop. I'm trying to warn you. Please. Warn us of what? Why do you keep looking behind you like that? Because if you don't stop, your lives could be at risk. They, they will be at risk. They'll pretty much be over. Is that a fucking threat? Oh. No, wait. I got this. Got what? Can we get a move on already? I'm bored of this shit. Don't you want to know why he keeps looking behind himself? Go on. It's because he's hoping poor old mother is still there. Huh? <sighs> How can you say that? Oh yeah, I heard about that. Huh, that's it. He ran away, didn't he? That's enough. There's a line that you don't cross. Oh, fuck the line. Let him have it. I've heard the stories. We all have. Poor daddy forced to rule the empire without his beloved wife. I said stop. Please stop. This is getting juicy. Poor mother saved little James from a goblin attack. And he runs away, like the coward he is. Enough! Fuck you! As poor mother gets skinned alive for a coward to survive. (laughs) I wish you would all just die! No, 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 wait! No, I didn't mean! Well, do something about it then, boy. No, 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 no! Run! What are you getting hysterical about? What the fuck is that? Holy shit, it's a werewolf! Cross sword! No! Bloody run! Oh my what the god. Fuck? Oh, shit. better. Damn it. You know, I can't even... I can't even make out who's who. It it looks like you put them all for a greater. I I can't even argue. I can't even be mad at you. I I shouted that I wish they would all just, just die. I shouted that they would all just die. Of course that would end up happening. <laughs> of course you'd end up killing them. But I shouted it anyway. <laughs> How could I have been so stupid? Uh, of course you would see that as a literal wish. Of course you would have done exactly what you just did. It's in your nature. Anything for me, hey? Five lives for mine, because true love. (laughs) How could I have been so stupid? I just wanted to save them. (laughs) Yes, they were really horrible to me. It enraged and hurt you to hear them say that to me. Because I am the complete opposite of what they say, am I? Because I am the complete opposite of what they say. And yet, no matter how angry you were, you stayed put. You upheld your end of the bargain. You kept your word. Until I shouted that I wish they'd all just die. (laughs) This is on me. This this is completely on me. But <laughs> I suppose I deserve to die with them. You would never hurt me. <laughs> Maybe not on purpose. Or unless you think absolutely necessary. <laughs> but accidents happen, eh? Could, could you do me one favour? Could you... Just answer me this question. Is 
this a bite mark or a claw mark? I can't really tell for how much my arm is bleeding. Oh, it's really gushing out. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure it's your claw. I don't see any other giant werewolf doing a human tornado with their body parts and creating a blood shower from the sky. And I'm losing blood rather fast. Hey, at least it's peaceful. You can't let me die. <laughs> oh, why do you feel so comfortable when you hold me like that? Maybe it's just the lack of blood. Affecting oxygen to my brain, but I could just sleep like this. You can shake me around as much as you want. This is nice. You really want to save me? Really? Well, there is an outpost nearby. It's, uh, it's a medical checkpoint. But <laughs> the medic there's a she. <laughs> uh, no, no, no more risking others. This is good. Just let me fall asleep. Hey, I... I can tell you're shouting and panicking, but I can't really hear anything anymore. I'm really, really sleepy. Can you <laughs> do me one favour? I, I'm a little bit scared. Can you hold me a bit closer? One more time. <laughs> Dying in the arms of a murderous werewolf. <laughs> At least it's love, isn't it? No one's killed for me before. Even if they killed me in the process. <laughs> Even if they killed me in the process. What a bollocks up this was. What a bollocks up this was. <laughs> It wasn't a werewolf. That was a, that was a nightmare in flesh. Fuck. It, it killed everyone. And yet, here you are. Lord, Lord Arcus. What are you doing here, my lord? Is it not obvious? I am here to find out what became of my brother. He's, he's surely dead, my lord. That wolf... It, it tore through us all. And yet you don't have a single mark on you. No, my lord. Look, I, I knew it was useless as soon as I seen that thing transform. If it, if it killed all of us, then you'd never discovered our fates, as well as your brothers. Please, forgive me. I should strike you down for cowardice, Darwin. But you make a good point. So tell me more about this beast. It it eclipsed a normal werewolf in size. It was it was faster. It was stronger. Our our weapons couldn't pierce its hide. And what else? W what else, my lord? Think hard, Darwin. Was there any other distinguishing features? Um uh Oh, oh, it had a long red stripe going from its tail all the way up its spine to its forehead. And there it is. Now it all makes sense. What is it, my lord? You know? I do indeed. And it is as you said. A nightmare. One that I will soon put to death by my blade. My brother... Most certainly lives. With respect, my lord. Th there's, there's no way he could have survived that. Consider this, soldier. My brother was indeed a target to this creature. But not one for food. A different kind of prey. 
and for that very reason, my brother is still alive, and I will bring him back. But for now, we have much to prepare for.